What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, and Francis Ngono. Get this. Hearn says that Fury versus Ngono is terrible for boxing. And this is what he said. He said, I took the Ngono fight to AJ. Hearn said in an interview with fighthype.com, he wasn't interested. But I knew there was a chance that Ngono could fight someone. I think it's terrible for boxing because obviously there was a chance to make the undisputed fight between Fury and Usyk. And I understand the business side. I just feel like you should just be honest, like we have a chance to make a load of money for an easy fight and we're going to do that instead. And I don't think anyone would begrudge it. MMA fans seem to be quite happy with it because I think they like Ngono securing the bag, but boxing fans seem to be furious. There's been so many back and forths with Tyson Fury. I think some things he said, people now look at and say, I understand he's a great fighter, great character, and I don't begrudge him for making a load of money for an easy fight. Hmm. Those are the words of Eddie Hearn and let me counterpunch. You know why Anthony Joshua wasn't interested? Because he's not interested in fighting guys that are not fighters. <laughs> See, when you got had guys like Tyson Fury, I think now thinking about Fury, he is a very good boxer. Um, how good? We'll never really know how good he is, just like we'll really never know how good Floyd is because Floyd doesn't care about showing people how good he is. You know, Floyd's whole thing was, hey, how much money can I make with taking the easiest fights? You know, so it doesn't really matter when you're talking about Tyson Fury, how good he is, because he's a showman first, okay? And it's because he's a showman first and a businessman second and a fighter third, it don't matter because you'll never see him get in the ring with somebody that could actually probably whoop him because the guy that could beat Tyson Fury will be a guy that no one really knows about. More importantly, no one will really want to see him fight except for Alexander Usyk. But with Usyk with all these mandatories, you're looking at a guy like that. Eventually, he's going to get old. He's older than Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury will be 35, whereas Usyk's already 36 and he'll be 37 in January. So in about a year's time, or should I say seven months time, he'll be 37. Well, Tyson Fury will be 35. And understand Tyson Fury took a long break off for partying and doing whatever he was doing for two and a half years. So, you know, he wasn't fighting at that time. And I think people should also understand about Tyson is Tyson is going to do what Tyson is going to do as far as money. You know, um, is it bad for boxing? Yeah, it's bad for boxing because what happens if the fight is very successful, everybody's going to want to do that instead of in, instead of stay in their lane. The only thing that would make this fair would be Tyson Fury could tweak the rules a bit, you know, should add kicks in there, which that wouldn't happen because that would be too more too much like right too fair right? Like I said before. So I don't think that Tyson Fury gives a shit as long as he makes a lot of money. That's the difference. I don't think he cares about any of all that other stuff. He doesn't care about that shit. He just cares about making the most money and he cares more about that than anything else. And I think he was afraid of taking a risk like that with, with Alexander Usyk because Usyk is not going to be a guy that he's seen go in there and get beat up. He's not, he hasn't, you know, and fighting someone like that for the money that they were, they were talking about giving him wasn't really enough for him to go in there and lose. See, he'll beat Francis Ngono any day, seven days a week and twice on Sunday, like he says, because he knows that this guy doesn't have the boxing fundamentals to even compete with him. You know, it would be best for Francis to go in there like a crazy man and just start throwing punches all over the place. And he might catch him with something. You know what I mean? And I will be going for Francis because he's the underdog. Of course, this is not his sport. You know, 
But Tyson Fury should walk away with the victory. Easy, easy work for Tyson. Now, for that reason, you know, it's like, okay, does it make business sense? Yeah. But don't say it because there is nobody else to fight. Because we know that's a lie. It's a lot of people out there to fight. A lot of people he could have fought. But um, Tyson Fury saying it's bad for boxing. Yes, that's the reason why it's bad for boxing. Because boxers will, uh, it will make them want to fight someone else instead of boxers. You know, if they can secure the bag with fighting someone that has no business being in the boxing ring, they're and then they they think, well, hey, it's an opportunity for me to make some money. But you really look in, you look at it in another sense. If those guys want to add to their resume, that's just wasting time fighting somebody that doesn't supposed to be there anyway. Bars, right? Because if you're looking at someone like Tyson Fury, okay, say he fights Francis and Gono. He fights Francis Ngono and it goes whatever it goes. And then, you know, he fights, I don't know, he should retire. Just give up the belt if he's going to do that. But he's not because Mauricio's a bitch ass president. He is. He's just like, I, I have no respect for that guy whatsoever. None. Okay. So that being said, he's going to keep the belt. And since he's going to keep the belt, there's going to be something that comes along or someone that's going to be a lot harder than he anticipates. And he may not be in shape to fight someone because he hasn't prepared himself because he hasn't been fighting real boxers. So, you know, that scenario, scenario might seem like a good idea. But guess what? While you're fighting guys that have no business in the ring with you, you're also getting soft. You're also actually becoming inactive because this is not a true fight. And since it's not a true fight, you're not moving the same. You're not training the same. You're not doing the same. And since you're not doing any of those things the same, you're going to go in there with a guy and get your fucking face knocked off, which would be great. Because then another guy will be like an Andy Ruiz-like guy that has no business doing what he's supposed to do, but Tyson Fury's in not any, any kind of shape to do what he normally does. But anyway, that's my scenario on that. You guys tell me what you think about Eddie Hearn stating that Fury and Ngono is terrible for boxing. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.